Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the delivery tracking template. We'll start by hiding the top ribbon to have more space. Great. First, let's go into the settings page. This allows you to select your language and the on-time delivery rate goal. Let's go into the translation tab. Here we can see we have three languages available. We have English, French, and Portuguese. A section, another language, will allow you to set up a new language by simply translating all the expressions listed, going back into the settings main page and selecting the other language option. Let's move on to the customer tab. This is a data list that allows the user to enter all their customers and corresponding details. Let's add one together. We'll call him Elon Musk. We'll give him a phone number, an email, an address, a city, and a state. We'll then hit the button Sort A to Z to have a clean and organized report. Perfect. Let's go to the Delivery Man report. This is a data list that allows the user to enter all their delivery staff or shipping companies. Moving on to the Deliveries database. This is the main data input section and allows you to enter all the planned and shipped deliveries. Let's add one together. We'll enter our newly created client Elon Musk. As you can see, the city and state auto-populates. We'll enter an invoice number. A description if we want, we'll leave this blank, a total invoice value, a delivery fee, an order date, a departure date, a deadline, and a delivery date if the order has already been delivered. The delivery time, days of delay, and delay alert auto-populate based on the information that has been previously entered. We'll then input a distance between sending and receiving point. Select a delivery man. And input a delivery status. Awesome! We're now ready to look at the results. We'll start with the Report tab. We'll hit the Refresh button to ensure the latest data is being shown. Perfect. The report shows the number of deliveries on time and the number of deliveries late, the average delivery time and the total delivery fee by delivery man. On the right hand side we have a list of filters that allows the user to visualize specific deliveries by selecting a year, a month, a delivery status, or a specific state. Finally, let's move on to the dashboard. Let's look at the filters first. Similarly to the report section, they allow the user to visualize specific data in the dashboard by filtering either by year, by delivery man, by state, or by city. Look again at the dashboard itself now. We we'll start with the first row indicating main delivery KPIs with the total number of deliveries, the number of deliveries on time, with a ratio over all deliveries, 
the average delivery time in days, the percentage of orders delivered late, and the total delivery fee. Further down, we have a bar chart indicating the number of deliveries by status, and then the total number of deliveries per month. Further below that, we have the deliveries by delivery man and by city, both displaying only the top 10. We then have the total delivery fees earned by month. And that's it. You know everything you need to know about our delivery tracking template, and you're ready to start using it now. Enjoy!